Okay, so welcome to yoga, everybody. We're going to be working into our hard core. So now it's doing a bit of hard core work. So I want you to sit in um, Swartika Pasana. So one heel and underneath the other. So you try to make a nice triangle, a little bit different. It's called um, auspicious pose. I'm going to get my stuff so I can see it. So you're sitting in an auspicious pose, cross your legs, one heel in front of the other, or one, sorry, one and foot underneath the knees. Palms up, thumb and forefinger together in Jana Mudra. Elbows relaxed, shoulders back and down, and just close your eyes. Thank yourself for being here and just set your intentions for today's class. So nice deep breathing. When you inhale, push your belly out like a big balloon. And when you exhale, allow the navel to work towards the spine. Just focusing on your breath. And as you do that, I'll tell you what we're up to today. So it's a little bit of long holds. It's a little bit of a flow. And core movement designed to tone your muscles and stretch your body. We're going to be focusing on deep abdominal work along with upper and lower body strengthening. Drop your chin down towards your chest. And Graham Lott says, just like you need to strengthen your core physically with exercise, you also need to strengthen your core spiritually. Slowly begin to open up your eyes, draw your eyes along the floor until your chin is parallel, bring your palms together. Welcome to yoga, everybody. Let's take our arms up to the side. Big inhale, lifting up tall and exhaling all the way down. Once again, inhale, lift and exhale down. Nice. Place your hands onto the knees. Turn your head over to the right. Drop your chin down, scrape it along your chest and look over to the left. Scrape again all the way down. Over to the right and down over to the left. Hold it here with that big nose. So just turn your head straight across to the right and straight across to the left. Once again, straight across to the right and come back to the center. We'll be going to do big yeses. So looking up and looking down and looking up. And looking down. Lovely. Stopping right there. Change the cross of your legs to your unnatural cross. So if it feels wrong, it should be right. It really feels wrong. So it's definitely right. <laughs> okay. Right hand, left knee. Left hand behind you. Sit up nice and tall. And slowly twist to look over the back shoulder. Hold the twist and turn your head to look over the front and back over to the back. Come back to the front, left hand, right knee, right hand behind, inhale up, exhale, twist. And turn your head to look over the front and back over to the back. And coming back to the front. Lovely. Hold onto those knees. We just do a bit of cat and cow sitting like this. So I want you to round the back and up you come. So slowly bring yourself down as you inhale down and exhale up. Down you come and up you go. Beautiful. Release there. And let's go onto our hands and knees. So hands directly underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Tighten the core, shoulders are relaxed. Make you nice and flat and straight. And let's look up with our eyes as we inhale. Exhale, round that back. Look at the navel. And then flatten out. One more. Inhale up. And exhale down. Come back to the center. 
holding your core. I want you to take your right arm out in front of you and left leg out behind you. Big stretch. Tightening, holding that core. We're going to work your right arm out to the side and your left leg out to the side. Hold it there. Hold for three, two, and one. And slowly bring both back. Now pull the elbow and the knee into one another. You can round your back for this. And let's stretch back out. Big stretch. Let's go again. So you take your right arm out, left leg out. Hold. Breathe. For three. Two. Grip that core. One. Back you go. Stretch. And let's put it in. Round. Up you go. Stretch out. And again, over to the side. Don't use the back, use the core. Hold for three, two, one. Stretching back and pulling in. We're doing four of them, so one more. Stretch out. Working over to the side for three, two, one, back you go, and pull it all the way in. Lovely, stretch up, place down your right hand, and that left foot. Your hands are a bit sore, you can let it out, but you shouldn't be using too much of that arm. So let's work to the other side, left arm up, right leg up, big stretch, pull up, so tighten that core, pull out of the shoulders. And let's work to the side. So stretching out, nice stretch. Hold, three, two, and one. Stretch back and pull it in. Out you go, stretch. And extend. Hold, three, Two, one, stretch it out and coming in. Big round the back, stretch out. Lovely. Let's do it. Out to the side. Flex that foot for three, two, one. Back we go. And bring it in. Last one, stretch out. Out to the side. Three, two, one. Back you go. And pull in, lovely stretch. And stretching out, hand down, knee down. So I want you to lift your feet. So let me just show you what I'm doing. Lift your feet, flex them, and we do cat and cow like this. So inhale, looking up, and exhale, rounding down. Have a good stretch. Inhale, looking up, and exhale, rounding down. Last one. Inhale, up, and exhale, rounding down. Beautiful. Place those feet down. Step the hands. One hand step forward. And up you go into your down dog. Walk it out side to side. Big stretch. Release your head. And just extend into it. So bring your feet together. We're going to really grip the core and work into some planks. Four of them. So I want you to come up to your tippy toes, arms through the back, and work into a plank. Once you're in your plank, push your heels back. Hold it there. Now moving on to the toes, lifting up, back into your down dog, drop your heels. Let's do three more. Up onto the toes, arms through the back, plank, 
pushing to the heels. So gripping that core, you might feel like you've got a corset on you. Forward onto the toes, lifting up and dropping down into the heel. Up we go, round. Pushing back, plank. And onto the toes. And down to the heel. Last one. Toes. Arching through. Nice round back. Hold that plank, that nice straight line. Toes. And into your down dog. Push your heels down, stretch it out. Bring those feet, they must still be together. Extend out of the shoulders, lift your buttocks. And let's take up our right leg up to the ceiling. Ekapada Adamukashvanasana. Onto the toes of the left. I want you to bend your right knee, bring it in, and work into a plank. Now, when you're in the plank, I want you to pull your foot to the perineum. So, right up, bring the knee to the nose. Feel the core working, not your shoulders, not your hands. So pull up as high as you can, really pull it in. Hold for three, two, one. Bring it back up, stretch up. Drop the heel. Let's do another three of those. Up onto the toes, round through the back. Foot in, pull up. So you want to have that real pull. Three, two, one, up we go, big stretch, toes, pull it in, foot right up, so I don't want the foot there, I want it up, knee right to the nose, two, one, up we go, stretch, and last one, toes, bring that foot in, feel that core, now just step it forward. Have a good stretch here. Holding it. Extend. We're going to step back into a down dog. So take that foot back. Work it down. Stretch out your down dog. And let's work to the other side. Left leg up to the ceiling. Ekapada Adamukashmanasana. Toes at the right. Bend the knee, bring it in, right in, right in, you want it right, right in, hold for three, two, one, up you go, stretch up, bring it in, so you want to focus more on bringing that foot up and that knee up than anything, not the arms, two, one, up we go, big stretch, drop the heel, toe, bring it in, hold for three, two, and one, up we go, big stretch, last one, bring it in, hold for three, two, one, see if you can step it forward. Just release. Nice deep breathing. And then going back into your down dog stretch out. So later on, we're going to practice a little bit of jumping through the hands into Navasana. Navasana is our boat. So obviously, we need to find some way of sweeping the feet through the hands. The only way that's going to happen is if you pull those knees in, like we just had our feet to our perineum, you need to squash the knees in, find a little bit of height, and see a way how you can get your knees through. So you're jumping, you're crossing, and you're bringing the feet up. So find some way of working those feet to come right in between the hands and to come all the way up. If you want to try it once more, coming back, find some height, cross, and lift. 
Once we're there, find the sitting bones. So you'll find when you're on the sitting bones, you're a little bit more forward and your chest is more up. Stretch the legs. If it's too hard for the legs straight, you can have them straight in front of you like so, or straight up, whatever's easier. Chest open, shoulders back. Let's hold here for a moment. Breathe into it. Paripura Navasana. That's our full boat pose. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Place the feet down, hands facing in. Lift the hips. Have a nice stretch. And slowly bringing down the hips towards the heels, coming down to the floor. So once you're all the way down, you don't have to undress. If you can, if you're getting a little bit hot, <laughs> it helps. All right. Once you're down, we're going to work into our eagle pose, Garuda Sana, with some core movements. So let's start off by taking the right leg over the left and hooking it under as much as you can. If you can't hook and you're here, that's absolutely fine. But I want you to bring, come up as high as you can. We're going to be working, bringing the knees in and stretch them out, but not touching the floor. So let's bring them in. Cactus arms to the side. We're going to bring up first, the left arm first, right arm crosses under, hook round as much as you can. Now, bring your head up in your elbows and work into a little teeny wee ball. Squash it in. Okay, hold here for three, two, one. Now stretch out as much as you can the arms and the legs. You're welcome to place your head on the floor, that's fine. But the arms and legs are above. Hold for three, two, one. Bring everything in, head included. Hold for three, two, one. Let's stretch out. Extend. Hold for three, two, one. Bring it in. And hold. So that was two for three, two, one. Stretch out. You can relax the head. Three, two, one. Hold that core. Come on in. Three, two, one. Stretch it out. Hold it here. Three. Two, one, bring everything in and hold for three, two, one, stretch it out, hold for three, two, one, bring it in, hold for three, two, one, stretch it out, this is number six. For three, two, one. Bring it in, hold. Three, two, one. Release and hug your knees. Just release it out. Place both feet onto the floor. We're going to work to the other side. So this time you're going to take your left leg over the right. Hook it in. Arms up, cactus arms. You're going to bring your uh, right hand first, left arm under, and you're going to hook it in. All right, we're going to begin. So bring everything in. Squish, squish, squish. Nice. Hold for three, two, one. Let's stretch it out. Hold for three, two, one. Bring it in. Hold for three. Two, one, stretch out, hold for three, two, one, bring it in, hold for three, two, 
One, stretch it out. Hold it for three, two, one. Bring it in. Hold for three, two, one. Stretch it out. Hold for three, two, one. Bring it in. Hold it for three, two, one. Stretch it out. Hold it for three, two, one. Bring it in. Hold for three, two, one. Stretch it out. Hold for three, two, one. Last in. Hold for three, two, one. Release and stretch the arms, stretch the legs. Have a good extension into the pose. Stretch, stretch, stretch. So we're going to work back into Pari Pura Navasana, our full boat pose. So I want you just to stretch those legs, stretch those arms, and come up into your V. So one, two, three, up we come. Whoops. Open the chest, lift up. If you want to bend your knees, bend your knees. Keep lifting the chest and let's hold. Hold. For the count of six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Place those feet down, hands behind, lift up that, those hips. Good stretch there. Nice, place down the hips, cross at the ankles, hands in front and work into your down dog stretcher. Big stretch. Walk the feet towards the hands. Bun and bones touch, ankles apart. Release the head. Hands into prayer position. Roll the shoulders back and down. Push the hips nicely forward. And slowly extend up all the way. Inhale, look up. Stretch up to the ceiling, Udva Hasta Tadasana. And then bring the arms down on the side. We're standing up nice and tall. Let's lift the toes. Place the toes down one at a time, making space. Up onto your toes. And slowly down. Wonderful. We're going to work into our head balance. So today's head balance is going to be Bakasana, which is the one with the, the triangle. And we're going to try and work into a little bit of a twist. So you'll see how you can do it. If you've got a chair, I'll demonstrate on the chair and the twist. If you're working on the floor, so obviously you've got your blanket in front of you, your hands at the bottom, your triangle is perfectly in front of you. Head down, you're lifting up, one knee on, on top of the other, Feet to the side. If you can, you know, lift, you know, twist, you know, place one knee onto the one elbow and buttocks onto the other. Okay. And try and do to the other side and this side. So try and work with both sides. If you're working on a chair, just to demonstrate, I'll work from the side, it might be easier. So if you're working on a chair, same difference, you're twisting. Knee, buttocks, and working to the other side, same thing. Knee and buttocks. Okay. So just working over, same thing. Even if you're doing into your bakasan, you can always straighten the legs out on either side. Floor or wherever you are. All right, off you go. I'm having a watch on how you're doing. There we go, I can see you all nicely now.
obviously the the warnings if you're menstruating i don't want you going up um if you've got a bad neck shoulders also not as long as you're doing what you can placing your knees onto the elbows make sure your head is nicely stable Very nice. Oh, I can see a lot of you doing really, really well. Oh, that's fantastic. So just doing what you can. If you can just place your knees onto those elbows, that's fantastic. If you can get a little bit of a twist, that's great. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. Just doing what you can, working to how far you can go. And then slowly, when you're ready, you can slowly start to come down. With control. Remember, when you're down, I want you to make sure that you put two fists underneath your head and just allow for the heart to surrender, the blood not to flow too hard, and just to relax. Okay, so stretch your arms out in front of you. Extend, lift up, tap the toes, and you go into our down dog, stretching it out. Walk about side to side. Just have a good extension. And then slowly lift up that right leg up to the ceiling. Up onto the toes of the left. Bring that right knee right in. Hold it there and stretch back up. Bring it right in. And this time stepping forward with the right. Keeping that right knee bent, left leg comes to join. Or cut a sana. So it's our seated pose. Fear seated pose, taking a seat. Pose nicely forward, sitting up nice and straight. So we are working to our um, gorilla sana, our eagle pose. I'll come to the front. You're welcome to work with blocks if you want to work with blocks. 
So making sure you're nice and settled down in the pose. If you need blocks on either side, please place blocks. We're going to take our arms down to cactus arms. You're going to take your right foot over the left and hook it in as much as you can. Left arm forward, right arm under. Hooking in. Find your space, thumb to Ajna. Sit down a little bit more. We're going to just hold for a couple of seconds. So holding here, find balance. Now from the hips, I want you to hinge from your hips, utilizing the core. We're going to have four forward movements. So coming down and slowly up. Coming down, core movement. And slowly up. Going down. And slowly up. Last one. Down and up and slowly release that leg, step back. Vibhadrasana one, lift the arms, extend, big stretch. Now let's bring the hands down, step back into a plank. Chaturanga, Urdhva Mukha up, open the chest and back into a down dog, stretch it out. Nice. This time, we'll lift up our left leg up to the ceiling. Bring that knee in. Right in, hold it, foot to the nose. Foot, I mean, foot to the knee to the perineum, nose, <laughs> foot to the perineum. And stretch up. And once again, bring it in. And step forward. Lovely, keeping that nice, High, so the knee is directly above the ankle. Stepping forward with the right. Sitting down, coming up, cactus arms. We do it to the other side. So this time, left over right, hook it in. Right arm forward, left arm under. Find Ajna, your third eye with your thumb. Find your balance. Hold it here for a moment. Keep breathing. Sit down a little bit. And let's see if we can work forward four times. So slowly controlled. Forward you go. Up you come. And forward. And up. And forward. And up. Sorry, my balance is really going for don't know what. And forward. Up. Last one. Forward. Up you come, stepping back with your left. All the way, Vibhadrasana one. Release those arms, stretch. Hands down. Step back, plank. Chaturanga. Forward Mukha up. Into a down dog, stretch up. Right leg up to the ceiling, big stretch. Bring the knee to the nose, foot to the perineum. And up you go. Once again, knee to nose. And step forward. Nice. Step forward with the left. And take a seat once again. Elbows out. Right going over left, hook it in. Left coming forward, right under. So you remember what we did when we lay down on the floor. So once you come right down, find your balance. We're going to stretch up as much as you can, lift those arms. And come all the way back down. Stretch up as much as you can. And come all the way back down. Whee, sorry. It's quite a hard movement. Up we go, stretch, stretch, stretch. And come all the way down. Last one, up you go. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And all the way down. Lovely, release that right leg. Stretch it back, bring your fingers to the floor. You're welcome to use blocks here. 
Drop your right hip. So we're stretching back into Ada Vibhadrasana three. Drop the hip, get nice and straight. Hold it there. I want you to take the right leg into like a curtsy. So you bring it behind and stretching up. Breathe behind and stretch it up. Let's do one more. Behind in and stretch back. Slowly step back, give a brass no one, up you come. So we're now going to do this without our hands on the floor, but with eagle arms. So arms out, right arm forward, left arm under. Coming forward, you can come up and you just see if you can do three of them. So leg back, you're gonna bring it in, one, out. Bring in two, out, last one, bring in three, out and step back. Lots of core, if you hold with the core, you should be able to do it, arms up. Hands down to the floor, step back plank, Chaturanga, Odhva Mukha up, into the down dog, stretch out. Lovely, step forward with your right. I apologize, go back into a down dog, I'm dreaming. Lift up your left leg, up to the ceiling. Bring the leg into your nose. And up you go. Bring it in, hold there, and step forward. Lovely. Step forward with your right. Take a seat. Arms up. Taking your left leg over. Right arm in, left arm in. Okay, we do our four stretches. So lift up tall and down. Lift up tall and rise down. Lift up tall and rise down. One more. Up tall and rise down. Beautiful. Release that leg. Come forward. Place the hands onto the floor. Make sure that that left leg, the hip is down. Vibhadra, Ardha Vibhadrasana three. And let's bring that knee in three times. So bend your right knee, bring it in. And stretch out. Bring it in. And out. One more, bring it in. And out. And let's step back, Vibhadrasana one. Arms out to the side. So again, taking in your right arm, left arm under. I'm going to work into that same pose, but bring the leg in. So coming forward, come forward, up you go, and then start to take the leg back. You're going to bring it in three times. So one, whoopsie, out. <laughs> Two, out, three, out, and step it back. Arms up. Very nicely done. I can see you guys be really well. Hands down to the floor. Step back, plank. Chaturanga. Odh Mukha up. And into a down dog. So when you do that jump through the hands thing that we started, you can practice this a few times now. I want you to get some height. So somehow or another, you need to jump up, cross, and bring the legs through. So practice it a few times. Get a little bit of height. Grip your core. So as you grip, you bring those feet through. You're pulling in as much as you can. Look at the distance of your arms and see if you can try and get those hands and those feet through. You need to pull the feet right in to the perineum, the knees right up. So I notice I have to squishy my boobies. Um, 
That's the only way I can get in there. Practice a few times how to get through there. See if you can just do a little bit of a slide. It's kind of like a handstand and then a, a slide through. So let's work into that a little bit. Okay. So lift and a slide. Okay. Try a few more. Once you're all the way through, I want everyone to lift their legs and come back into Navasana. Straighten those legs, flex the feet, lift up. So from here, you're sitting on your sitting bones, bring your hands behind your head, going to Ardha Navasana. You can roll back slightly off the sitting bones, feet in line with the eyes. And up you come. Let's just do two more. Hands back, coming down. And up we go. Last one, hands back, down we go. Up you come. Feet down, hands behind, lift up. Nice big stretch. And come down. So I want you to lie onto your side. You're going to find the side of your mat, wherever it is. Sorry, I'm using two mats and moving around. But it just helps you to be able to see better what I'm doing. So get yourself nicely lined up with the side of the mat. Stretch that arm up. Make sure that you're in a perfect straight line. You may need your strap. So have a strap close by. Stretch the arm out. Once you've got your arm in a nice line, push down your elbow and then bring the hand underneath the head. Okay, try and be a nice straight line, flex into the feet. If you want to put a block behind you to make sure that you don't lean back into it and you keep your hips nice and forward, please do. Hand in front. Then I want you to start to lift your top leg. So as you lift your top leg, make sure that you're not leaning back into it. Because what tends to happen is your hips go back and that's how you can really sit here nicely. You have to lean forward. Make sure you're still in a straight line. It must be wobbly wobbly because that's how you use your core. Core must be really engaged. Push forward shoulders nice and back. So make sure that you can see you're in a perfect straight line there. I'm looking. There we go. Okay, so my bum's are falling to the back and I'm lifting up. And slowly bring that leg down. Now you're going to hold both feet together. You can keep your hand in front and you're going to grip the core and see if you can lift both legs. Not with the back, but with the core. Just for three, two, one. Place down. You're going to take your top leg, bring it into the perineum. If you need a strap, put the strap around your foot. And then flexing that bottom foot, lifting up, making sure you're still in a nice straight line. So the hips are forward. If you're not wibbly wobbling, you're doing it wrong. If it's really easy, I can just lie back like this and do it. Look, it's really easy. So you really have to push hips forward. You've got to extend and stretch. And you should be constantly adapting to the movement. So there's a constant movement. I constantly have to adapt, shoulders down, hips forward. And I'm working on that foot on the floor. Hold it there. The core is constantly gripping as well. Nice deep breaths. Whee! It's like I'm on a little roller coaster. And slowly bring down that foot, stretch it out. Place your hand down. We're going to our bellies. Hands underneath the shoulders, toes, feet together. Lift up into a plank. You take your right hand into the center. Roll over. You can see my back. Roll over. Lift up the top arm. Babishti Sana. Lift the hips up so you're utilizing the core. And lift the top leg. If you can grab it, you can. If you can't, just lift it. And if you can, look up. 
have a good stretch. If you can't lift the leg, the leg's just down. Then you're just holding like so. That's fine. Stretch and hold. So the hips are up. Place down the hand. Come down to the floor. And roll over to the other side. I'll just go to the side. So I can still see you. Get yourself in a nice straight line. Make sure that you're nice and parallel to the mat. Flex the feet, stretch the arm. Okay, keeping down that elbow where it is, hand directly underneath. Hand in front, get yourself nice and straight. Push those hips forward. Let's double check, lift the top leg. Make sure that that hip is not going back. It's still pushing forward to lift the leg. So lifting the leg. And place down. Both legs, you lift up. So see how you utilize your core. Use the core, lift the legs. And down we go. Take the top foot close to the perineum. Take your strap, place it around. And then you lift up. So this is the Nantanasana, our couch pose. Find your balance. One side's much better than the other side, normally is. So my splits are much better on this side than the other. I can also get a lot straight. I can push my hips forward much more with this side than the other side. But I have to work a lot harder too. Or if she is working, say, who's your daddy? Your film's going to fall forward. Whew. Hold it and breathe. And slowly release. Legs to come down. Nice, let's go roll onto your bellies. Hands underneath the shoulders, tuck toes, feet together, lifting up. You're going to bring the right hand into the center. You're going to roll over, lifting up the left. So hips must stay up. Lift those hips. If you can, lift the leg. Whoop. Look up if you can. Slowly hold it there. And slowly coming down. Come down. Roll yourself onto your back. Nice. Bring your knees to your chest. Give them a hug. Cross at your, el your elbows. At your ankles. To your feet elbows. And up you come. Into a down dog stretch out. All right, walk your feet towards the hands, banyan bones touch, ankles apart, hips forward, hands to pray, up you come. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun, five minutes fun before we end. And that five minutes, we're just gonna work into side, exactly what you're trying to do, you're trying to twist in your head balance. You're gonna play with it now. So I'm gonna show you the easiest way to get into it without doing a whole big movement. So if you listen carefully and you watch me, you'll get it. All I'm doing is I'm standing to the side. Then I'm going to crouch down all the way. I'm going to place one elbow in that knee, one elbow into my hip or my bum, hands to the floor. So once I've got that, I want to lean forward. Okay, lean forward onto it. What you can do, you can even put your head onto the floor. I'll show you from another angle. So I'm leaning myself forward. I'm making a little shelf with the elbows because none of this can break. So it's got to be nice and stable. So I lean forward. 
You can put your head onto the floor if you want to. And then I'm going to lift the legs with the core. Find some balance there. Once I've got balance, if you want to, you can always open legs or do whatever you want. <laughs> okay. Other angle, different side. So coming down, knee, bum, leaning down, finding that space, getting angles, and then you can slowly start to stretch and lengthen. It's really a grip of the core, if anything. So to show you this, you've got to get it into the bum. That is the most important thing. You have to find your shelf. So your shelf is very important. You see the shelf that I'm arranging, getting that bum, and then I squash my knees and I bring them up. If you want your head on the floor, put your head on the floor. Focus on bringing your legs up and getting that space. Then you can lift. Okay. Play with it. It's not arm strength. It's not shoulders. It's got nothing to do with that. It's really a core movement. And it's a squash of the legs. So you've got like three minutes to play with it actually. Just have a little bit of fun with it. Put a blankie on the floor. You can put your head down on the blankie. The, the hardest part is literally this twist. So it's twisting yourself all the way around to try and get the elbow to push in, the bum to come down. So you'll notice one elbow is higher than the other and then lifting and working into a shelf. So you have to actually lean to the one side to try and get your shelf nice and equal. Okay. That's it, that's it. Have fun with it, I always say. So, so yoga is about the journey. It's not about, get, once you get there, it's really boring. No, I'm joking, it's, it's a lot of fun, but it's more about this journey, which is really exciting. Inge, you can put your head on the floor. You, you're in the perfect spot. Lean your head down onto the floor. Yes, 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 yes. And then bring the knees together. Squash those knees and put your head on the floor. You were so close, it's actually frightening. Tanae, you got it, you got it, just, you can do it. Lean, 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 lift the feet, lift the feet. Squash the knees, tighten the core. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, 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 that's it. And your mom got it last night, just by the way. There we go. Look, it's so, so nicely. So it takes time. This is like the it takes a lot of time and you don't understand which muscles to use and where to push into. I'm just telling you, it's not the arms. It's really the core. You have to grip your core. So it's a lot of gripping of the core. That's what I can tell you. All right. Well done, guys. Let's come back to the relaxing position. So come back to your mats. Hug your knees. Roll yourself down onto the floor. Give them a nice big hug. Let's place your feet down onto the floor. Feet to the edges of the mat. Arms either out to the side or under your head, whatever is more comfy to you. Drop your knees to the right side. Right foot, left knee. Turn your head over to the left. Come 
down, place down your right foot, bring your knees up, drop into the left side, left foot, right knee, and turn your head over to the right. And place back down your left, release your hands, hug your knees. This a nice happy baby. And then stretch whatever direction you want to stretch, stretch out. And then work into ready for your um, Savasana. So taking your right leg to the corner of the mat, left leg to the left corner, palms face up, shoulders slightly tucked under, chin slightly in, and close your eyes. Get ready to surrender and just let go.
turn your head from side to side. Take your arms and stretch them over your head. Have a good yawn and a good stretch. Bring your knees to your chest. And roll over to your right hand side with your head cradled in your arms. Mahatma Gandhi says, strength does not come from physical capacity. It comes from an indomitable will. And slowly come to a seated position. May there be peace to the north, peace to the south. Peace to the east, peace to the west, peace above, peace below, peace within and peace without, and most importantly, peace with you and your family. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Namaste. Thank you, everybody.